Hi everyone, I'm JD from Low Bound Journals and today I have a video where I am putting together some Daphne's Diary journals that I actually already finished and filmed a flip through of. You might have already seen that on my channel previously. I was just having a bit of me time listening to Psychology in Seattle while I was making these so I knew I could always film a voiceover later on uh, whenever I had a chatty video uh, to share. And I never know when I will get into a chatty mood or have something to share, but just recently I felt my heart was led to share this message. So I just hope that it is encouraging and speaks to you in an uplifting and maybe comforting way. <laughs> and if not, feel free just to skip this video um, and I'll be back with some more crafty videos later on. <laughs> So this is one of my faith tube videos, which I haven't done for quite a while. Uh, but yesterday, while I was at church, we were singing the song called The Blessing. And I found myself tearing up as we sang the line, he's for you over and over again. And I often tear up when we get to that part of the song. My heart just, when I sing those words, reaches out to people in that moment and all I want is for people to know just how much God is for them that even when it feels like no one else is for them there is one who always is I especially want the people who feel like God isn't there for them to know that he so is and not just some empty intellectual knowledge but knowledge that is you know felt and experienced to really know what his love is like to know that he is your biggest cheerleader, your biggest fan, that he is always on your side, that he defends you, that he stands up for you, that he sees you and he can't wipe the grin off his face when he sees you because you delight him. He delights in you. I want you to know you are delightful. He never gets tired of hearing you talk about the same thing over and over again because you're excited about it. He always wants to hear the song you wrote and see the picture you drew and just wants to know what you're doing and what you're loving and what you're learning. You may not have had a good experience with your parents when you were younger. Maybe they weren't around. Maybe they hurt you. Maybe they made you feel small. Maybe they put too much on you that you weren't meant to carry. You may not have had a good experience with your wider family, your community, your upbringing, your place and time in this world. And maybe your parents and all of this has shaped how you think about life and faith, yourself and others. Maybe they shaped how you see or don't see God. And that is so valid and fair enough. Maybe you believe if there is a God, he is horrible or that he doesn't care about you or he's indifferent because that has been your experience. So of course that makes sense. And even though I haven't walked in your shoes, I can appreciate how you see things and validate that. At the same time, I can also share how I see things, knowing, yes, I could definitely be wrong, while also knowing that for me, God's love is everything to me. I believe that no matter what you've done, no matter what has been done to you, you are loved so incredibly fiercely. There is someone always in your corner who will always lift your chin up, who will hold you when you cry, who will laugh with you and comfort you in your worst moments in the worst moments that life brings. He will never leave you, not when you are hurting, not when you've hurt others. He loves you even when you turn your back on him, when you hate him, when you don't believe in him. He cannot fall out of in love with you because you are so delightful to him. You are the object of his affection and attention. He adores you. He sees you even when you don't see him. He knows you even when you don't know him. He loves you even when you don't love him. And it's this love that I stand on, that I cherish and treasure and hold on to, that matters when everything else falls apart and that matters when everything else is going well. It's something I want in my life, the way that I want my cat in my life. <laughs> it's something I want to feel and see and know and live in. 
because it adds so much goodness to li- my life. Like my cat adds so, so much goodness to my life. Like the beauty of a sunset, like the taste of a delicious meal or the closeness of a friendship. I don't want to be without it, this love. It's always there. He loves me, but sometimes I don't see it. Sometimes life and my circumstances and my own head, my own self blurs my vision with sometimes hatred, self-hatred, shame, fear, anxiety. I can lose sight of my worth and my identity. I can lose sight of love and the fact that I'm loved. And so I just want all people, including me, to know how loved we are, how deep, how high, how wide we are loved, no matter what, no matter our past, no matter our present, no matter our pain, no matter our personality. And I pray his love meets us where we are, that we would really know it through experience, whatever that looks like for each person, through a family member, through a walk through nature, through an answered prayer, through a a gesture from a stranger, through a conversation with a friend, through a word from a book or a song or a movie, through a direct encounter with God himself. I just love how many ways God shows up and speaks. I love the many ways he shows his love for us. And it can be so individual, no matter what you've gone through or what you're going through right now no matter what you believe or don't believe, I pray you just know you are loved in every moment of life. Not airy, fairy love, but fierce, passionate, gritty love. Maybe you haven't known this gritty type of love, the love that gets into the mud and bleeds for you, the love that cries out in anguish when you are hurting, love that beats its chest in fury when you have been hurt love that falls to its knees to be with you in your lowest moments, love that runs to you, holds its arms open and pours out on you. (laughs) This love is more powerful than pain, than hatred, than shame, than fear, than depression, than anxiety. This love is for you. It's yours. It's mine and I am on a lifelong journey to receive this love more and more. And I just want to finish by reading some of the lyrics to the blessing that particularly moved me. It's the bridge. And I just love how it builds to those final words that make me cry (laughs) and make me feel so much. May his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you. In the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing. He is for you. 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 And I just want to declare that over and over. I want to sing this over you forever with my whole heart, with my whole life, with my whole soul. I just want to sing that over you. You may not know, but he is for you. He is for you, he is for you, and I will never stop declaring and singing that over you. He is for you, he is for you, he is for you. I can't help but even tear up right now, even though I'm not singing this song. I'm just speaking it out, and those words, oh my goodness, he is for you, they they get me every time. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just so moved by this, and so passionate about this belief that he is for you. He is so for you. I want you to know what it's like to have someone so for you. The the beauty of that, the safety in that, the security. And my heart just goes out to anyone who has never felt that safety or rarely felt that safety, that security, that comfort, that compassion and kindness and grace and mercy that he has for you. Um, Yeah, my heart, my heart just goes out to you. And um, I, yeah, that's why I just want to keep declaring this and, and singing this so that all may know, all may know just 
here's for you. That's it. I mean, it's such a, he is for you. Four words, but to me, they have so much meaning and um, they sum it up for me. That's kind of my core message that I talk about, just summed up in four words though. My longer version is to let people know that they are seen and heard and known and loved and valued because of my background. My background was, you know, feeling like I needed to be silent and invisible and having sort of a a belief that I am unlovable and that I uh, I am unworthy. I want others who have felt that way to know that you are so loved and he is so for you. It's a message for me. It's a message for you. <laughs> it's a message for all of us. And um, yeah, I hope you just feel my heart coming through these words and the screen um, and know that, that the, the weight, the strength and the power of these words that he is a for special you. Thank you to all my beautiful patrons who supported Willowbound Journals and this YouTube channel in June. If you'd like to become a patron where you get access to all my extra videos, including a journal making series each month, and depending on your tier, every printable from my Etsy shop or mail sent out to you in the post, uh, you can become a patron by clicking the link below in the description box. By becoming a patron, you also get access to all of my members' videos. Um, you can also just become a YouTube member if you want to support this channel by clicking the join button and selecting whichever tier suits you. You can become a member for as little as one US dollar per month and every cent helps. So I am so, so thankful to all of you who support my YouTube channel and my creative dreams.